2021 is going to be your year of travel. You want to make elite status and you're going to earn it. Except where do you earn elite status? Who do you go for? You know, what's what's next? You choose Hyatt, but everywhere you're traveling doesn't really have a Hyatt nearby. They only have Hilton and Marriott. So which elite status is better? What's up you guys, I'm Jacob Fisher and I figured now would be a good time to compare hotel elite statuses for the next year. See which ones you might want to go for. Marriott and Hilton have always been competing against one another to be the largest hotel chain. Marriott currently takes the cake with over 7,000 properties in, well, countries all over the world. You can thank that purchase of Starboard back in 2016 for the reason they have this. That really cemented their claim as the world's largest hotel operator. As you would expect, both hotels offer great rewards in their tier programs. Marriott has six tiers, while Hilton only has four. The top tier on Marriott can give you quite a lot. Before we go into which one is better, let's kind of figure out, you know, what each tier is worth and what they offer you at each level, and how many nights you need to stay to achieve that. But there's also ways to buy your way up the ladder through different credit cards. There are a number of cards that provide instant status with both Marriott and Hilton. The one that comes to mind first that gives you gold at both of them is the Amex Platinum with a $550 annual fee. If you want to see my sole review on the Amex Platinum, which I called the best travel card of 2020, then like this video and let me know down in the comments below that you want to see it. The Marriott Bonvoy Boundless comes with instant silver status and a way to earn your way to the next tier with $35,000 spend. It has a $95 annual fee. The Marriott Bonvoy Brilliant gives you instant gold status with a $450 annual fee. The Hilton Honors card gives you an automatic silver status with $0 annual fee. The Hilton Honors Surpass gives you automatic gold status with a $95 annual fee. The Hilton Honors Aspire gives you automatic diamond status with a $450 annual fee. You of course get extra benefits along with that, but these are just the tiers that you can buy your way into. Both programs offer a member level, which is just you signing up with them. Everybody should have that at least. At the member level, both programs offer free Wi-Fi, member rates and mobile check-in, or in Hilton's case, a digital key check-in. It's the same thing as mobile check-in from Marriott. Hilton offers you ability to choose your room and get no resort fees on reward stays. You also get Hilton experiences, and here are some examples of them. It looks like a little fun thing you could spend your points on. Moving into the next category, you need to stay at at least place 10 nights. Marriott likes to add the word elite on their tiers, but for the ease of access, we're just going to ignore that. At the silver level, both programs offer you points bonus, 10% with Marriott, 20% with Hilton. Marriott, you get late checkout. With Hilton, you get your fifth night free on reward stays. That's book five nights, and one of them is free with rewards. Two free bottles of water with Hilton, and elite rollover nights. Elite rollover nights are pretty simple. If you stay in excess for one year, those nights will roll over into the next year. Stay 30 nights. 20 nights will roll over into the next year to count towards your next status. Moving on to gold for both. You need to stay 25 nights with Marriott and 40 nights with Hilton to get these. Marriott gives you a 25% bonus on points while Hilton gives you an 80% bonus on points. Both give you room upgrades if available. Marriott might give you a hotel welcome gift, which was water when I stayed there once. Hilton gives you a free continental breakfast and milestone bonus which is a 10,000 bonus points for every 10 nights starting at 30 nights and then an additional 30,000 points when you stay there for 60 nights. These status are massive and don't worry I'll be getting to which status is worth more. Next on to diamond status with Hilton and platinum status with Marriott. You need to stay at least 50 nights at Marriott and 60 nights at Hilton to get the status. Hilton has a 100% bonus points and Marriott has a 50% bonus. Both give you lounge access and a room guarantee, which is actually super nice. Hilton gives you a diamond status extension you can use once if you want to. They also give you elite status gifting, which just means you could gift a status after a certain number of nights. Marriott has two more tiers though. Titanium Elite at 75 nights gives you a 75% points bonus, a two-day room guarantee, and another annual choice benefit. Ambassador Elite is 100 plus nights a year and $20,000 in spend. You get, you know, the same thing as everything else, plus your 24, which lets you choose your check-in and check-out time. To get the status, you will need to be in hotels for about a third of the entire year which is kind of crazy if you think about it. 
Real quick, this is what the points guy values each member benefit at. The max tier for Hilton is worth more when compared to the same tier at Marriott, but of course, as you move up the ladder in Marriott, it is worth more because they just have more tiers. However, a lot of these valuations are subjective because what is lounge access and what does that even mean? So which is worth more? Obviously, it depends on how many nights you stay at the hotel. The gold status that comes with a platinum card is certainly worth it. However, you need to stay at each hotel a decent amount of nights to get it. Let's say you spend 40 nights at a hotel in a year that gives you gold at both Hilton and Marriott. That seems kind of normal for a semi-frequent traveler. If you travel even less but still want to get status at one of these cards, then you can go down the credit card option, which is honestly an acceptable way to do it because you get so many more benefits out of each credit card than just a tier boost. Doing a bit of math, you should be able to earn a decent amount of points though, so you can earn a free night stay or not a free night, but an award night stay for whenever you decide to go traveling. I would have to say Hilton is actually worth more at the end of the year if you're going for gold. I know a lot of people love Marriott properties and I do too, but Hilton just gives you more. Fifth night free and a free breakfast at most places is just kind of worth it to me if I'm going somewhere and traveling there for five nights or if I want to avoid spending money on breakfast by eating out. I can just eat in the hotel. I'd rather put that money that I'd be used on spending breakfast to going on maybe a new adventure, maybe go scuba diving with the money you save. I don't know. If you travel enough to reach titanium status with Marriott, that's 75 nights, then that's worth it to go that way. Getting all those benefits would be great at the end of the year and then you'd get so much more more out of each day. If you don't travel enough for titanium, then again, back to Hilton for diamond status. It's only 60 nights. The issue with staying at hotels is that sometimes you just have a bed and a sink and bathroom and stuff. You don't really have a kitchen. Now there are some hotels that offer a kitchen, and if you have a kitchen, you can save some costs on eating out every night. A lot of hotels also have pools, gyms, hot tubs, and the like. I mean, if you stay at an Airbnb, you're just not gonna get that. You know, is that worth it to you when you travel? Do you wanna be able to jump in a pool, jump on a hot tub, go to the gym in the morning, and maybe eat the free breakfast that they provide instead of having to go out and buy your own food and then bring them back to the Airbnb and then cook it. I know there's some Airbnb horror stories as well, so you're definitely getting peace of mind when you stay at a hotel. There's a lot of talk about fake Airbnbs that were booked and how they turned into some whole little giant scam that someone on Vice uncovered. It's a whole article that you should definitely check out. I'll link that down below. But that doesn't really happen with a hotel. Hotels provide great peace of mind that you and your family might enjoy when you're staying somewhere for a vacation or if you're just going somewhere for a quick little trip. Book the hotel that maybe has a kitchen in it and see if you can save some money by not eating out. Hilton has the home two suites, which is like your second home, home two. Residence Inn is what Marriott has for the same thing, you know, like your residence. To be fair though, when you travel that much, you won't be spending too much time in a hotel. You're just there to sleep and hang out or cook if that's, you know, if you have a kitchen. Getting out and exploring the area has always been my reason for traveling. I'm not there to just sit in a room. I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on travel and finance to see how ways we can save money or make money while traveling for cheap. If you like things like that, then make sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and let me know down in the comments below if you you know have a preference for a hotel chain or if you already have status at these or if you just like one of these better until next time